two. So number one, what are blue stock? Blue stock are what we call parent stock. They are matured fish, fish that are centrally matured, are properly raised for breeding purpose. Because one of the mistakes farmers are doing is some one came fish for two, three years, thinking that that is blue stock. No. If you know you are selecting blue stock, blue stock will select fast growing fish and we feed them properly for at least one to two years and they will become, become sexually mature. Then um, that's um, for blue stock. I don't know if, if I'm satisfying you. Yes, very well. So these are blue stock. You can see them, they are well loaded and um, in episode two we'll be talking more on how you'll be able to differentiate between male and female blue stock. So thank you. Thank you. We love you. You do you bad. Honestly, I am learning a lot from this video and it's getting more educative and interactive. So the next question on the list is Sam is going to be telling us on how to differentiate a male brute stock from a female brute stock. Alright. To differentiate between a male Bruce stock from a female Bruce stock is very very simple. Um, though I'm gonna be watching it live, and it's gonna be done. But let me explain how it looks like. A male Bruce stock has a long protruded genital organ. When I'm talking about protruded, it means that the genital organ is long, as in it shoots out. Let me use that layman language. Why that of a female is round? It's round. So when you when you look at the live demonstration, which we are going to do soon, you are going to see the difference to understand what we are saying. We want you to learn this very well. Thank you. Yes, very well. I know they are getting a lot of interesting answers. Okay, sir, you are going to also tell us how do we select a good book stock? That is the protrusion into organ of a male catfish that can be used for breeding. Yeah? So we are trying to get yeah, sure, female that we use for a practical demonstration. So watch carefully. This is a shop or something. So I I want to actually show us how to identify a female Bristol. So when you look at this female, you can see that they have pot belly. You can see the pot belly. The, let's take the genital organ. Come on, baby. So this is the genital organ, as you can see. It's round. This is the genital organ. It's not protruded like that of the male. It's not protruded. So when you press it, egg will come out. But we have done that in the morning. We don't hold the phone very well. Maybe your hand will cover this the camera. One. So we have done that. We don't want to do it again because we we've been jetting the fish any moment. We've been jetting the fish any moment from now. For the that we be doing. So so this is one of the reasons why we are encouraging you to buy our fish. You can see the kind of blue stock we are using. You can see this is um, this is a very reasonable size. This is 4.2 kilo, and this is our male. This is our male equivalent size. The male is is about 4. Point something kilo too. We probably have another female that I'm going to bring out. So this female, this 
So this one is weighing about 4.8 kilo. 4.8 kilo. So the quality of blue stock you use helps to determine how fast and um, how fast and how good your blue stock is. Your fingerling and juveniles are going to be. So these are these are for juveniles. These for juveniles are for sale. If you want to buy, you have for sale. You have for sale, and uh, we have we have fry over there that are still coming up. So all the things that we have to do the rest. So thank you for watching us. Okay, let me show you some other things. So this is you know we've been presenting. This is our hash rate. This is where we are actually going to present. So I believe you are enjoying the episode we are running. And I want you to understand that what we're actually doing is to help farmers to be proficient in your farm. So if you're having breeding challenges, if you're having challenges in your farm, in your hash rate, do not fail to, to call us. We render online training and we also visit farms. There's an agreement. So, so we have fries here that are eating. Can you see them? Can you see them? Can you see them? and drop your question that will help us to improve on the production plan which we have so i want to say a little thing about the next episode which is episode three in episode three actually i'm going to be talking about um how you are going to select bristol many farmers have this challenge you know you, you can't just wake up and go and pick any fish that have them um, egg and assume that that fish is viable you know there are techniques that are involved so i will encourage you to Paying attention and watch very well. Then, whatever you know you are not clear about, feel free to drop your questions. Then, we equally run online training. The online training is more of part of mentorship. We will mentor people into this process and guide them until they are able to have good success. Because most of the call we receive, not that people are not able to hash, you know, some hash and they found it difficult to produce fingerling or juvenile out of what they're producing. So that's the purpose of this documentary. So stay put as you enjoy yourself. We love you and we're expecting comments and reactions from you. Thank you. <laughs>